This is the Dice Sphere 13, and welcome to another episode of World of Tanks. Now, I'm here at KV2 Top Tier, and the reason I'm playing this game was I was starting to get frustrated of high tier matches for tier 7, tier 9 game, tier 8, tier 10 game. Okay, let me play tier, let me play tier 9. I'm the only tier 9 on the entire map. So I decided, you know what, I'll hop down to tier 6. Need some credits anyway. And this was the game. So, what can I honestly complain about? Not a clue. But, pretty darn good game if I do say so myself, except I make one early game mistake, which kind of costs me the ability to be heavily aggressive and quite pushy. And that is deciding to turn and let the enemy team get into a position where they can fire at me. Now the first shot, I'm guessing tier 4 step pattern. Why do I say step pattern? Firing premium ammunition. I honestly couldn't figure out what premium ammunition was until I was tier 6 myself. Oh yeah, and Mr. Chaffee, you can shoot under the rail cars there. But don't worry, you'll load. And now it's time to reload, go and spot it. I, I, back up, back up, you're not loaded yet. Ah, I said. This is why I say I'm not the greatest. I'm not a very good player at all. Because I make stupid mistakes like that. All three hits I've taken so far were because I just didn't think. Yes, it's allowed me to pick up two kills. But I would have gotten those two kills anyway. So why did I think that Turning and giving the enemy time some. Well, giving the enemy time? Giving the enemy some time to get in the position to shoot at me as I crash across in front of him. Let's get out of there. Why did I think that fucking out while well, I wasn't quite loaded and was not unspotted yet? A good idea. Uh, when I play these games, I can't honestly tell you what I'm thinking. All I know is, oh, nope, back up, back up. I, I've taken damage. And now I'm trying to set sight on this enemy Churchill. Or anything else that decides to, you know, work its way in front of my gun. And I seem to be at quite a heavy angle. So let me just move down a little bit towards a flatter spot. And hi there, Mr. Churchill. Nice juicy sight. Ooh, and you, and you burn brightly. Nice juicy tender sides. Seared to perfection. Oh wait, I'm, I'm talking about a Churchill, not steak. Um, yeah, he's not feeling too brave right now. <laughs> and I don't think you'll see him until the end of the match. So, two kills, quite a bit of damage. Feeling, feeling pretty good. Except I've just lost two enemies. And I need to take this medium tank out. He spotted me, probably because of the great bushes. And now, and I have no clue where that shot went. But I need to back up. And if they decide to push onto me, I've got teammates behind me just waiting. There's a T1 heavy. There goes a Stug. Okay, Stug. Not bad, not bad. There's T1 heavy. Hi there, sunshine. How has your day been? And this is where I start to run into a bit of a problem, if you will. Notice where that stug just popped up. Yeah, in game I have it, but I do like me some medium tank. You know, the greatest kind of medium tank, a dead medium tank. And that's when I, in game, realize, oh, there's nowhere f w for me to run and there's a stug in front of me. Now, if I hadn't taken those three hits out front, I probably would have just stood still. Withered it, and then blown him out of the water, or what ended up happening was him get blown out of the water. I am not in a very good position to push anymore. I mean, I haven't been pushing, I've just been wa letting the enemy tank just walk on into me and one at a time and blow them out of the game. Or make them wish that, you know, they had decided not to go anywhere. But, 
it can be quite difficult for lower tiers to recognize, oh, I'm doing this wrong. I mean, this is my third year playing the game, and I'm still average. Don't have a tier 10 yet. Close, but don't have a tier 10 yet. And all the while, I put decent videos up on YouTube. Why do I say decent? Well, I'm not exactly carrying very many games. You'll see an example as to why on Friday, so I do recommend you show up to the channel Friday if you're not subscribed. Watch the channel Friday, and I do believe it is called VLAPS 2. Good replay up until, you guessed it, the last two shots. And, oh, look at those. That Churchill that burned brightly earlier. Someone else can have him. I've done my job. Not a bad game. Didn't quite carry it. And I could have done it a whole lot better. But hindsight is twenty twenty, And life is a, run, is a race for run backwards. If you've never heard those expressions, well, I have to say, you've probably never had anyone do something quite stupid. But anyway, this has been the Dice Fair 13. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and share. It really does help out the channel. If you have a replay of your own, send it down to the email in the description after you upload it to Woat Replays or Kawaki Baby's website. If you haven't subscribed already, please think of doing so. This has been the Dice Fair 13. Signing off. Bye.